With spring break vacations upon us, President Trump's budget calling to privatize air traffic controllers. Supporters arguing it would allow for a more cost-effective and efficient system. But what do flyers think? Take a look. I think that with uh, privatizing the business and looking at competition, there may be uh, future ways for improvement to, uh, to hit the airlines, and that's what we need here. A lot of people traveling, parking's ridiculous, and um, any improvement always helps. I don't see any reason for that unless it's a measure to uh, you know, save money with his new budget. Perhaps he wants the money for something else, but as far as I know, it's always run very well. Gary B., what do you say? Well, I think that some of these travelers should be heartened to know that we're still using World War II technology and that the FAA has been trying to roll out new technology for the last 10, 15 years or so. Of course, in great government terms, if you say, oh, well, let's not privatize, well, look what they're doing now. They've been spending their, the, by the way, they're, they're not even going to reach their goal by 2025. They're going to be off by an order of magnitude on a multi-billion dollar budget. Privatizing has worked in Canada, it's worked in Germany, it's worked in the UK, it's paid for itself. Let's move into the modern era. Hadley, what do you say? I got to agree. As a general rule, if the private sector can do something and there's not a compelling constitutional reason for the government to do it, let the private sector do it. Jonas? From a pure safety point of view, which is the main job, we do a good job. You can't deny that, especially because it's all unionized and it's run by the government. That said, it could be more high tech. My only concern is in our country, airlines go bankrupt all the time. So if they're the ones in charge of it, it could be like an Amtrak future fiasco. We got to retake it over because they all fail in the next recession. So we have to be a little concerned about how it's done. Well, and Jess, just to point out that airport security used to be private until 9-11 and then it was nationalized. And you certainly have to ask that question. There's no question that there needs to be reform, I think, in both of these er areas. And I'm a big fan of public-private partnerships. And I think we could probably accomplish a lot there. But to the point about it being more cost effective, there have been results out of Britain that show that that's clearly not the case. And Britain actually had to bail out a private company that was handling air traffic control in the, er in the early 2000s. Uh, so I think that we need to look at this long and hard. Well, John, you're going to get the final word on this. Well, to quote my favorite philosopher, uh, Gary B., when has a government run anything efficiently? <laughs> they, they haven't. Look, they are using what Gary B. said. They're using radar technology instead of digital and satellite technology. They need to be upgraded. Privatizing would do that. And they also ha should have user fees from the airport, not taken from the government, that will fund this privately. Thank you, John, and thanks to Hadley and Jess, both of you, for joining us. You have a great weekend, everybody.